Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another underperforming video on YouTube. Today, I'm going to try to start my vehicle, my 1989 BMW 325i, also known as the E30. I haven't started that car in 74 days. I'm going to try to start it right now. I just opened the door and the dome light uh, turned on. That means that the battery is not totally flat. The backstory to this um, video is that when I bought that car 70, 70 something thousand miles ago, and seven years ago, um, the seller told me that he had a brand new battery and miraculously, I haven't had an issue with the battery or anything else in the car. The battery is at least seven years old. I haven't moved the car for 74 days because of the pandemic. And basically I just opted to drive my wife's uh, newer car around, which is a little bit more practical. But for some of you car enthusiasts to know that I haven't driven my dream car in 74 days, it may be something hard to understand and believe. So. Let's uh, let's try to start a vehicle, see if it starts. I know that you're supposed to restart a vehicle periodically, especially an older car like mine, uh, periodically to avoid uh, draining the battery and to keep it healthy, but I just didn't. This is the longest I've ever been without driving that car, without even starting, starting it. So let's see if it starts. I'm already counting on the fact that it won't start just because it's such an older battery. So I'm ready to jump start it if I need to, and we'll see, we'll see. Let's move to the car and try to crank that engine. Check out the dust. This is an indoor underground garage and you can see that film of dirt. It kind of pains my heart to see it this dirty. As some of you know, these vehicles have the battery in the trunk. Let's see what it says. I'll try to get that information on an actual picture. But that's the battery. Right away, as I open the door, I noticed that the dome light is a little dim. This battery made me flat. So let's see. Wish me luck, guys. I can't believe it actually started. And this video is gonna be dark and it's gonna be crappy, but it started. So, oh, I just remembered that I've had a uh, idle issue with this car, and I just remember that. I'm gonna drive it out to where I get a little bit more light so that we can talk about this beauty. Hey guys, we're out here. Um, I'm just completely taken by the fact that the car started 74 days after the last time I started it. I bought it with 134,000 miles, I think. And right now as it sits, it has 212,700 miles. I've driven this car daily, um, not as a, as a joy, but at first it was more of a resource because in 2013, me and my wife found ourselves immersed in debt and uh, we decided to do something about it. And what we did is we sold the two cars that we had at the time, we, we had two newer cars that we were financing and we we thought that the best measure to cost to cut uh, expenses monthly expenses will be to get rid of that debt and we sold the cars uh, and we decided to buy two cars one for each of us at about five thousand dollars a piece that was the budget and at the time uh, for my wife we found a 1983 1993 i'm sorry sc300 a lexus it was a great car we loved it, it was in pristine condition, and uh, she drove that, it was an automatic. My wife hates driving stick shift. And, and I bought this one. I kind of feel bad that I haven't driven this car for, uh, for this long, 74 days is the longest I ever moved without driving this car. As I said, this car it has cost me everything. And I'm talking about all the customization, all the maintenance, I haven't spent a dime in, uh, in like any repairs. It never left me stranded nothing to repair other than every couple of years I take it in for like a full uh, inspection and I go all out and make sure that everything is running smoothly so sometimes uh, it, it does cost me a little bit of money so what I'm saying is the car originally cost me $3,500 but I have invested two times more that money just making it drive the way it does right now and and also everything that it has cost me like in maintenance and things that just are just too old to keep running and I just replace him at that time when I take it into legendary auto works in Chula Vista. So um, let's go watch it. I'm gonna go with my friend at Diaz Auto Detail 
in Linda Vista, great guy too. And he always uh, hooks up my car uh, for cheap. He's, uh, he's very affordable. So let's take it over there and see, see how it looks once it's clean because as you can see, it's very, very dirty. First couple of years of ownership, I drove it over 10,000 miles a year because that was the only car I had. It was either this or the Lexus. So both cars being old, the other car didn't present any tangible advantage because even uh, things as MPG was better than this car. So maybe in the first couple of years, I did drive it over 10,000 miles a year, maybe 12, possibly. And as years passed with the acquisition of that other BMW, then whenever we went on long trips, I would just drive the other one for practicality. But this car was pretty reliable. I was not afraid to drive it. I, I would do 700 mile day trips in this car. And later on, we bought my wife's uh, new Lexus. In 2018, we bought that Lexus. And same, I, I find myself driving that other one for longer trips more. So driving this car gives me a little bit of nostalgia because this is the car that literally drove me and my wife out of debt. I'm so glad that right at the beginning when I bought this car, I ran into another E30 owner that recommended me that shop in Chula Vista at the time. Uh, PJ from uh, Legendary Auto Works used to work out of uh, Junkyard. So when I did the transmission swap, I did that all within the first year. I did the, the transmission swap, made it a stick shift. I did, um, I lowered the car. I made it a point to every year get something, get an upgrade for the car. And last year I didn't get anything. As I told you, I kind of lost focus of the car a little bit. So I don't drive it as much. So right now I'm about to drive to Diaz Auto Detail here in Linda Vista and I'm gonna take it to my, with my friend Diaz and he's gonna detail it for me like he does. I take it every six months to get detailed and uh, it really comes alive. This paint is the old school paint, the toxic paint that uh, that shines. It's, it's just so such good quality paint. And as far as I can tell, this, this might be the, the original paint. Let's see, let's see if it's available. Let me see if, if it's not a bleeding line. Ah, uh, he's gone. I'm gonna have to wash it myself. So, because Diaz is not here, I'm gonna have to do the job myself. I'm literally going to have to look up this battery because he has been so good to me. Seven years, he left it 74 days without starting this car and he started it right up. I think that sometimes we're kind of quick to write about or make a bad review about products when we don't like something, but we hardly ever take the time and be as animate to do a good review of something that has surpassed your expectations. We'll look it up and I'll list it on the description box. Great battery, whoever made this. Thank you. I couldn't get the car detail as I expected, but anyways, I, I gave it a quick wash it seems like it wasn't that dirty when I put it away because there are quick rinse and it got rid of all the, the dirt, but I still need to get it wet and stuff like that. Let's go home. I, I feel that I owe this video to some of you that subscribed to my channel when I uploaded that video about my presentation on my car in April of last year. When I thought I was going to be more consistent with the material about my, my E30 and I kind of feel that I let some of my subscribers down when I didn't uh, follow up after that video. You hear that? There's grinding, and there's noises. I love it. Sometimes it's the little things that make you love a car. When I bought this car, I, I was a little afraid of the cost of ownership because I figured that just an old car, at the time, this car was, what, 24 years old? 20, yeah, 24 years old. And I figured that I was going to be 
repair after repair, but I couldn't get over the style of the car. Yeah, I, with five thousand dollars, I could have bought something a little bit more, a little newer, maybe. But definitely, it would, it would just be a transportation appliance, like most cars have turned nowadays. Uh, it just turned out to be a great surprise. Such a, such a joy to drive. Uh, incredibly reliable, and also very affordable. Um, it's always a challenge to try to smog this car. California smog control laws are pretty restrictive, and these cars, even at their best, they don't they pollute a lot. So I'm going home in defeat because I couldn't get to show you the car fully detailed. So maybe sometime soon. This past weekend I was driving around near Mission Beach and I saw a tandem of nice E30s. And it always happens that when I when I see when I have those sightings, I'm never driving my E30. So. Uh, we ran into each other at the parking lot and I went up to him and approached the older gentleman. Oh, I forgot his name. I told him that. He's like, oh, you need to take it off for a spin. Maybe, maybe uh, that's something that I should be doing on the weekends now. Thank you for being here. My name is Juan Carlos. I hope you liked this video. And if you did like this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.